Hello everyone, this is Meggie Station Live, reporting from TVGroove.com's Shinjuku Studio. We bring you all the up-to-date news on foreign television, celebrity gossip, and the exciting things going on in the entertainment world. Hello everyone, this is your host, Meggie. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Tokyo, and it's still hot as ever. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the fall season to start. I love summer, but Japan's summer is too long, too hot, and just all around too much for me. I need the cool weather, and I want it now. So once again, I'll be delivering today's news in English. So if you have any questions, you can leave a comment on my blog. Here's our top news for today. Lost actor punches a female bus driver. 45-year-old actor Matthew Fox, who starred as Dr. Jack Shepard on the hit TV show Lost, was taken into custody by police on Sunday, August 28th, for assaulting a female bus driver outside a bar. Matthew was apparently trying to get onto a private party bus when the bus driver repeatedly told him he was trespassing and to get off the bus he began to punch her in the breasts and stomach area. The bus driver then retaliated by punching him in the jaw. Matthew was then arrested and taken into custody by Ohio police. He was later released, but the issue is still under investigation, and the bus driver said she is going to press charges. So this was the most shocking news of the day. I could never have imagined Matthew Fox assaulting anyone, especially a woman. I guess he just lost it. <laughs> I'm assuming he was really drunk when this happened, but that's not an excuse. I wonder why he so badly wanted to get onto that party bus. I have to say though, I really admire that bus driver for fighting back and punching him in the face. It's good for you. So what do you guys think? Does this incident spell doom for Matthew Fox's career? Next bit of news is for Lady Gaga fans. Lady Gaga's Male Alter Ego Lady Gaga appeared dressed as a man for the MTV Video Music Awards this past Sunday. Appearing as her male alter ego, Joe Calderon, she went on a rambling, foul-mouthed monologue before her performance of You and I. She also insisted several times that Gaga wasn't here and that she would accept Gaga's awards on her behalf. Some critics are claiming Gaga's act went too far, however. She apparently was using the men's washroom and at one point tried to get Britney Spears to kiss her. So I've seen a few clips and photos of Gaga in her drag outfit and I'm going to be honest, I think she makes a weird looking man. She looks to me like a scrawny version of John Travolta out of Greece. I thought it was a neat idea for her to appear as a man, though. It was different, and I don't think anyone has done it before. But she probably did overdo it a bit, as she usually does. What do you guys think? Did you like Lady Gaga's outfit at the VMAs? Or did you prefer her grand entrance in an egg at the 2011 Grammy Awards? Alright, and our last bit of news is another Lost cast member news piece. Lost reunion on Hawaii Five-O. Terry O'Quinn, who played John Locke on the hit TV show Lost, is being reunited with his Lost castmate, Daniel Day Kim in the new season of Hawaii Five-O. In his role on the show, Terry will play Navy SEAL Lieutenant Commander White, who is somewhat of a mentor to one of the show's protagonists, McGarrett. 
White arrives to help clean up the mess after the season one finale, and may provide some answers to some of the show's puzzles. So here's some positive news for a lost castmate. I liked Terry's character on the show, Lost, and I admire his acting ability. So it will be neat to see him appear in Hawaii Five O alongside Daniel Day Kim. Other than cleaning up, as they say, after the events um, in the season one finale, I wonder what kind of role this new character will play in the series. Heroes star Masioka will also appear as a season two regular, so it's going to be an exciting season two. The new season starts on Monday, September nineteenth. On CBS in the States. That's all our news for today. Once again, if you have any comments or questions, leave a comment on my blog. Blog でコメントしてくださいね. And stay tuned for Thursday's episode. またね。